Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some really cool updates right here on your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you will see the Apple logo. Just click on it right here. We're going to see the App Store system preferences as well. Now, some of our updates usually are under system preferences. However, for these guys, it's under your App Store. So just open up your App Store. Once you open up your App Store, it should look something like this. On the left hand side, you might see that you have updates highlighted. So that's exactly what we can see right here. We can go ahead and just tap on the top right hand corner in order to update everything. However, I do want to do a close up so you guys can see exactly what we're updating. So today we're updating compressor, for example, so we're just going to update it. We're going to move on to Final Cut Pro 10.6 update and GarageBand 10.4.4 update as well. And the very last one that we have here is OneDrive. Let's just click on update. Now. Any updates that finish, you will see them move down to the updated recently. So right now, compressor is almost about to be done. So since compressor finished, it just moved down to updated recently. So that's down here below. Now we're also taking a look at Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, and OneDrive. Obviously, these downloads depend on your internet speed. If you have slow internet speed, this will take a lot longer than others. So let me just click on more for Final Cut Pro just so you guys can see how big this is. So this is 3.2 gigs, it's not that big. Now we're looking at GarageBand, we're late taking a look at less than a gig slightly, almost 800 megabytes. And OneDrive should be fairly small, only at 92 megabytes. Surprisingly, that one's going the slowest. However, it is the smallest. And right now, these guys are almost done. Now if your updates are taking too long, well, then just hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable. That'll make things a lot faster than going over your Wi-Fi. Once our updates are fully done, we can go ahead and open them. So for example, since we have compressor and that one's done, we can just go ahead and open it. So I'm just gonna click on open and we can take a look at whatever's new with it. Usually these updates are not that big. So we can see right now what's new. It's gonna give you a quick list. For example, we have raw format support, watch folders, and so on. Especially because iPhone 13 came out, we do need it, some type of update here. Anyways, let's just continue on with this. And we're just gonna close this for now. And at this point in time, OneDrive is going pretty slow. However, GarageBand is almost, almost done. So again, as long as you guys see that this is moving, yeah, it just finished, then that means it's working. So right now, let's just open up GarageBand to see what's new with it. All right, so there's some key commands optimized for GarageBand. That's fine, we're gonna use new. And here's what's new. Pretty basic, more loops, more sounds, optimized for MacBook Pro, especially M1 that just came out, which is awesome. We're just gonna continue on. And here we go. So this is GarageBand. So let's just close it for now. Now that we saw it, let's just quit GarageBand. And as I mentioned before, anything that gets updated will move down into the updated recently list and we'll get out of this area where there's any available updates at the moment. And finally, Final Cut Pro is about to be done and it's finished. So we can go ahead and open it up. Next will be OneDrive. That should actually be done even before we open up Final Cut Pro. So let's just wait for it to be done. There we go. So everything moved down here. So at this point in time, I don't have any more updates. Let's just open up Final Cut Pro, which is what everybody's waiting for. And let's take a look at whatever's new with it. So this is the latest version of Final Cut Pro. And right now, yep. It tells me exactly what we thought. So there's an object tracker. There's the new mode, especially because of iPhone 13. And of course, this is also optimized for MacBook Pro, especially M1. Anyways, let's just go on continue. Now, if you see anything like this, it's normal. Any type of update always does this, so we don't have to update everything. Let's just update it. It's going to load up. And we're just going to let that load up. Everything should be going OK. This always happens with any update that you guys might notice with Final Cut Pro, it always does this. If and only if Final Cut Pro really gets stuck, so that means leave it for several hours, um, then go back down here, right click on it and just force quit it. I'm not gonna do that this time because I'm patient. I'm gonna let it be, let it do its thing because it should take its time doing this. But basically, force quitting would be the last thing you want to do. All right, I also have another library. It's going to ask me for that, so I'm just going to update it as well. Now, those of you who don't have two libraries, you don't have to update several libraries. That's just me. And that's it for me. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, 
You guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.